This is the before. We're gonna put the tree up today. No one wants to see y'all big butts. I did get into a car accident last night. Ready? Whoa. I don't know if this worked. Fine. I'm fine. I know I'm fine. <laughs> oh, it's fine too. Wait, I feel like I'm being over dramatic. Now I've been good this year Make your list and check it twice I'll leave you a note right here Underneath the Christmas lights Carols and bells, none of them help I still feel blue I just wanna need a fancy watch You can give the elves a break No, you can't make it in the shop You can't put it on your sleigh You know me so well Nobody else can do what you do I just wanna fall in love Well, we're halting in the Christmas decor because I just broke this wreath. I'm so mad at myself. I, the connectors for the batteries to make it light up kind of like came apart and I like went to shove the battery in anyway and it just snapped the piece of metal in half. So we're pausing and we're gonna make dinner. This like piece of metal is broken. I'm not gonna explain, but it's supposed to light up and it's not lighting up and Matt's gonna try to fix it for me, so yay. But we're gonna make dinner. We're gonna take a halt in the Christmas decor. I didn't even enter this video, but welcome back to my channel. My name's Megan. If you're new here, this lighting is really terrible. This is a Christmas decor video. I'm decorating my whole house. It's just, it's honestly like such a job to decorate your house for the holidays. Like there's just like so much. But we're gonna take it slow, we're gonna take it easy. We'll do it throughout the whole weekend. But yeah, so this will just be like the weekend video, I think. So. Mm -hmm. Just finished having dinner, didn't film it, but cleaned up dinner, got everything ready for the night. My house is a mess. I'm aborting mission on decor for tonight. I'm just, I'm exhausted. It's like 10 o'clock and I'm like, I just want to go to bed. Matt did fix my wreath, that wreath. I, I don't even know how to explain what I did to it. I don't know what he did. He did some sort of wiring to it. Not sure, but love that he could fix that for me. We're getting carpet put in tomorrow. I can probably, well, I'm not gonna film them doing it, but I'll film a little update. Actually, I can probably go film a little um, before right now, just to document that, to show you guys. Everything's such a mess because when we got our basement painted, all my decor was in the basement, but I moved it all up to the guest room and the guest room is like full of decorations. So I'm trying to like work out of, the guest room right now and then we need to figure out what we want to do like going forward because i think we're going to turn that storage room downstairs into a gym we'll do the christmas tree probably tomorrow night um i still have to do the candle window lights are a whole problem because i don't want the cats to knock them out so i got these um i got these plastic things that you put around the candle and then you like lock the other end of it under the window like you open the window and shut the plastic in there so that it doesn't fall off 
but the problem is um piece of plastic isn't long enough to reach the window where it opens and closes so now i need to figure out something else and i don't want to return these things that i bought i don't even know if they take returns so that's a whole other situation but i got to do the christmas tree the mantle the dining room the kitchen table and then like all the little like just the little knickknacks that go around the house but i'm gonna go show you guys the basement real quick okay so here is the before um this isn't even a before before because this was a red carpet before it was like a shaggy red carpet it was disgusting um also this is concerning that this is the regular color of this floor and this is the color that it is now pretty gross so this is all gonna be a gray carpet i forget what shade of gray we're getting i wanted to do darker matt wanted to stay a little bit lighter so i think we're kind of like meeting in the middle with like a middle tone gray but i still think it's going to be pretty light but this is the before just the subfloor stairs i'm so excited to get the carpet put on because like the cart <laughs> the stairs are so loud right now with nothing on them it is so loud but here's our basement if you guys remember we got this painted about two months ago now which is crazy but this is the movie area. So we got this painted dark blue. I think it's beautiful. This is the shade Naval by Sherwin-Williams. Perfect navy shade, absolutely love it. The white trim pops. This trim needs to be re-nailed back on. The other color down here is a gray. It's kind of like a Penn State theme in our basement. We have the little Happy Valley sign up there. This whole basement is gonna be transformed as time goes on but I think it looks so good. But here's the floor. This is literally like the concrete. It's so cold down here. It's so cold down here because the concrete is like so cold because like this is like the ground, obviously. It's freaking freezing down here. Again, this was like a shaggy red carpet too. And this is going to be the same color gray carpet as we get on the stairs. It's gonna be so good. And then like a projector will go here. This is what the people used to have that lived here before us. So they had like a projector. And they had like the screen that dropped down because that's the door to our furnace area. So the screen like drops up and down so you can still get to the door. And then we have like a bunch of couches, like a bunch of couches. So the couches, we'll just like figure it out tomorrow. Like tomorrow night will be a fun night for Matt and I because we'll be decorating and then the carpet will be done. So we'll be on here rearranging the basement. Winnie, what do you have? <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Um, but yeah, we're really, really excited. And then like the visions for the basement real quick. Bar, we want to get like a built-in bar. It's a process, but want to get some part, kind of bar over there. We have this high top table that you can't even see right now because it's covered in crap. High top table, we kind of be like up close to the bar. TV, and then over here we want to get a pool table one day. Matt wants to do shuffleboard along that wall. I think that's pretty much it because then this is the movie area and we'll a bunch of couches. How we put a couch here for now. And then like I was saying, this room over here, like the treadmill needs to go in this room, but we couldn't fit it through the door with just Matt and I, we need someone else. But this will be the gym. As you can see, it's like part storage right now. I wanna also put the cat's um, litter robot in here. That way it's like secluded away from people when they come over. That closet will still be like storage. I have Pilates machine treadmill and then along this wall we'll do some sort of mirror and then like dumbbells and like that'll literally be it and then one day if we want to swap out like let's say the pilates machine for like a peloton or something but anyway that's the plan we want to get some sort of padding for the floor but yeah okay i'm really cold down here i need to go upstairs so that's the basement i'm really excited to show you guys the carpet tomorrow and then we will get decorating with christmas again tomorrow too and i can show you guys that i'll keep vlogging guys what are you playing with a zip tie fascinating <laughs> why <laughs> why okay let's go Ready? Oh. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. I love it. Mm hmm it's Oh, it's so squishy. I know. Oh my god. It looks so good. Whoa. Oh, it's so light. <laughs> but it looks good. 
Wow. Do you love it? Mm -hmm. It's so soft. It's so squishy. <laughs> what was that for? so tired I gotta go to bed again all my fall stuff is just a mess everything is a mess there's just stuff everywhere um, I got the mantles pretty much done it looks a little chaotic I'm, I don't think I'm gonna keep the dog stockings up the trees gotta go up tomorrow I just like need to everything is a mess oh okay we need kitchen table disaster everything is just an absolute disaster right now but we'll finish tomorrow i'm so tired i'm so tired i also feel gross we'll, we'll get it together tomorrow so my pumpkins aren't bad yet so i don't want to like throw them in the woods but i'm gonna have to i'm like ready to make the switch to full christmas it's like thanksgiving is this coming week it's time typically i like i'm late this year i would have done this two weeks ago normally but i just feel like i had a hectic past month i mean i was traveling and i don't even know what else was going on i was just busy i feel like work was really busy too for me the past few weeks so i just like wasn't getting any of my christmas stuff together also like we got our basement painted and the carpet put in the basement today but like that's where all my decorations were so then all my decorations got moved upstairs so it's like <laughs> it's an absolute mess in our guest room right now i need to figure out how to better organize all my stuff which is part of the problem i was supposed to go to pilates tomorrow morning but i am waitlisted and i'm like first in line and haven't gotten in yet but i do have a birthday celebration tomorrow night for my one friend so i will be going to that and I want to run to the store and get a Starbucks gift card for her. Hi, girl. I'll probably actually go to Starbucks at some point and then hit up Lowe's while I'm out. Actually, yeah, that's perfect because there's a Lowe's right next to the Starbucks near my house. Hi, honey. I'm going to say goodnight and we'll see you tomorrow, vlog. You too, win. All right, I'll see you guys tomorrow morning and... I'll probably end this vlog tomorrow because this vlog is really just decorating for Christmas. Um, I didn't vlog as much of me doing it today as I did the other day, but it's fine. It's all going to look so good. I'm excited to put the tree up. Like Then it'll really look like Christmas in here. So, Good morning, everyone. Happy Saturday. Well, it's not morning anymore. It's like 1 p.m. I just had Pilates. I had Pilates at noon today, which was kind of nice because I was still able to sleep in. 
have like a nice breakfast and then go to class. I'm trying to be more of a morning person. It's just like, and I, I do start work at seven during the week. So like I am up at like a regular hour. I'm up pretty early, but I wanna like continue that on the weekends and still get up at like a decent time and like have a morning. Now I'm gonna go to Lowe's. I need to get a wreath for the front door. I wanna get clear zip ties so I can put the candles up in my windows today when I get home and then I also am going to get more batteries for our light up like garland and stuff that I use to decorate the house so we're gonna go do that we're gonna put the tree up today do some more decorating it's weird because it is like super warm it is 51 out today it feels pretty nice it's good what no no <clears throat> where are you oh there you are She was just sitting in my lap. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. The sounds that she makes. All right. Hi, everyone. Good morning. Um, I feel like bad things tend to happen when I vlog sometimes. And um, this is another one of the situations. So this vlog took a turn. I still want to finish like showing all of my Christmas decorating in this video but um i did get into a car accident last night i'm totally fine nothing happened to me um i was in a parking lot of all places which actually like isn't too bad of a thing in um for insurance reasons because it's like it was an unmarked parking lot i mean like it wasn't one come here hi okay so I was driving down a row of cars and it was dark and there it wasn't well lit and the parking lot wasn't marked and I didn't realize it was like the main entrance to the restaurant was right there. I thought it was a little further down, but again, like I couldn't see the parking lot was like full. There were cars and I didn't realize that this was like the main entrance and a truck was coming down. Like, so I'm going like trying to go across and he's coming down and he hit me. But he also was driving a little bit too fast for the parking lot. So, hi honey. And the cops came, they wrote an incident report, but like my car is undrivable. It's still in the parking lot. We have to go back today and call AAA and get it towed. It was just too late last night. Um, we didn't really want to deal with it. So, Winnie, please don't knock my camera over. Oh my God, Winnie. So now my car has to go to a body repair shop and Winnie. And so we're gonna have to see what the damage is. It makes me sick to my stomach. Like looking at the photos, I feel awful. And I've cried like so many times cause I just like, I feel so stupid and I feel bad for my car. <laughs> like. I've never been in an accident before and I know accidents happen, but I just feel so stupid and I can't believe this happened. Like I just kept replaying it over and over and over in my head last night. And I was like, what if I had done this differently? What if I had just sat in my car and plugged my music in for like a, a like two seconds longer? I wouldn't have been in that accident. I just like kept replaying all these things in my head of what I could, I could have done differently. And I just, <sighs> you can't go back and change the past i'm lucky he didn't hit more of my door too but he hit like my front wheel well like the fender and luckily he didn't like crash into my door but like i was in motion and he hit me and i like kept going so the whole side of my car is like smeared and dented the damage is really only to like the front like wheel area and it's like my tires like bent in and I don't know like how much damage there is and I'm like really stressed out. <sighs> oh, it's just like the last thing like my, my dad needs to deal with too because like my dad like technically owns my car and my brother's car just broke and my dad's car has a problem and my mom's car has a problem. So like my car was like the only car that like didn't have an issue and now I freaking had an accident and now my car is messed up. So I just feel like it's just been... A I just like feel so stupid and I feel bad. And then Matt has this big exam tomorrow and I had to call him and get him out of bed last night to come pick me up. And now we have to go get my car towed and dealt with today. And like today's the last day until his exam. Like his exam is tomorrow. So I just, I feel like I'm being such a burden on everyone. And I just feel so dumb. I couldn't sleep last night. I just kept replaying the accident over and over and over in my head. I like could not fall asleep. I woke up this morning and just like, 
I felt like I, it was just like a nightmare, but then I realized it was real life and it's okay. And everyone keeps telling me Megan is just a car. It's okay, but like, I'm having a hard time. And I feel stupid for crying this much, but it's just. <sighs> and besides getting engaged this year, I feel like the rest of this year has kind of been like, well, I got my cats this year too. But other than that, there's just been like a lot this year, like my grandma dying and just. I felt like I've had like a really emotional roller coaster of a year. I've had really high highs, but I've also had really low lows this year. So it's like I've had some of the worst things happen to me this year, but I've also had some of the best things happen to me this year. So it's just, oh my God, it just feels like so much. Like my friends were there, like my friends were behind me in their car and like they watched it happen. And they were like, you're okay. Like insurance will take care of it. You'll be fine. But I'm like, it's not free. Like I still have to pay money somehow. Like. Anyway, that's my morning right now, and I don't know what to do with myself. I just like want to crawl into a hole and die. Like I don't want to have to deal with anything. And it's Thanksgiving this week, so. Hi everyone, it's like 11.30, the same day, it's Sunday night now. I've had the weirdest weekend, I've had the weirdest day, and I just want this nightmare to be over with my car. I feel like I'm being overdramatic because like this happens. People go through this. It's not like it's a crazy abnormal thing. It's not even like I was in like a real true true accident um, I just got hit in a parking lot, but still it just feels like It's just like, you know one more thing to deal with so I'll have updates on that tomorrow But I did I finally got some more cleaning and decorating done today and I kind of want to show you guys But I will be finishing up tomorrow night. I think with Matt we'll put up the tree Matt has his big CFA exam tomorrow like I've been talking about these exams for like the past like four years in my vlogs because I have but he does have his level two exam tomorrow so fingers crossed that he passes that this is still not done I need to do my little pine cone evergreen ornament bowl I'm excited for that I have my reindeer candlesticks these light up this is still super messy but we're getting there this had all my fall stuff on the floor earlier, but I cleaned all that up. This is like cat toys stuff. This will get cleaned up. We'll put the tree over there in that corner. Reindeer. And then down here, the lights are all off now, but I did do the same thing last year. I did my little manger scene. I feel like it can't not have a manger scene somewhere in my house. So I have that. It's like my little cityscape. I do like little buildings, like little houses. They have tea lights in them, Christmas trees, the whole thing. And then over here, this is like a little, I feel like this is like a little bit much <laughs> and I haven't cut the tags off of these stockings yet, but my light up garland, the Merry Christmas stocking holder, candlesticks, reindeer, Christmas trees, my nutcracker, these candles light up at night. I feel like it's a lot, but I like how it looks. And then these are the dog's stockings. I don't know if they, they look so random, but they are cute. And then I have a vase with some evergreen, and a little reindeer vase down there. And then I have all my Christmas pillows. I love them so much. We got Winnie. We have this wreath. And then this is messy over here, but I have this light up wreath. And then you can't see this because our recycling is right here that we have to take out but reindeer i have this little sleigh which is really cute for christmas cards that we get in the mail i think it's a cute place to, like keep them this candle lights up and then i have a matching one over here that lights up and then like a little bell and then in the kitchen nothing crazy but i have i love this decorative plate i just have it on like a little stand with its mashing dish i don't know i just think it's so cute and so pretty up here we have christmas trees reindeer all of our window candles are up so that's one of them reindeer a snowman christmas soap holder christmas soap christmas hand towel and then our little candy dish and the little christmas trees and then in the bathroom we have whoa um, little Merry Christmas planter that I just put the freshener in. And then we have the reindeer hand towel, reindeer, snowman, Christmas candle. This is a soap holder. The soap. And then some Christmas trees. So, super cute. I'm gonna go to bed. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. 
Good morning, everyone. I just wanted to show this real quick. This is what we did. So I bought these candle locks, but I, they only fit on this part of the candle. If I took the bulb off, I could slide that loop down. I could not get the loop onto this section of the candle because this is each side of it's too thick. So I was like, crap, what do I do? So then I was like, why don't I just scratch that and use a zip tie? But the problem with the zip ties was the end of the zip tie like just did not want to stay in the window. It kept like sliding out whenever I would try to shut the window. So Matt was like, well, why don't we use what you bought and zip tie them to the candle because this plastic that goes in the window um, is nice and thick and it stays nicely once you shut it. So I was like, okay, cool. So we zip tied that to the locks that I bought and the candle. So now it only moves about this much. Sure, it can bang into, it can bang into the glass of the window, but it's a lot better than it falling and smacking onto the ground and breaking the um, like bulb. So this is our current solution. They've been working so far. I mean, even last season when I had Winnie and the dogs here, no one had a problem with knocking them over until it was like, I want to say it was like four months after I had had them up already. Like it, was, it wasn't until February and that was when Winnie knocked one down and broke it and then Ella knocked one. And the thing with these candles is the bulb can break and that's fine because I have replacements. But this piece in the middle that lights up, that is a separate part. Like when I take the bulb off, that doesn't come with it. That's built into the candle and that's the part that lights up and that broke on those two candles so they were unusable so I had to buy some new ones I have like a whole collection of different colors now this is a flat black and then some of the other ones I had ordered were like a brushed black and then we also have the um brushed bronze I think they're called that's my little update with that I'm gonna go downstairs and feed the cats feed myself I have like this little internship at work that I signed up for which is really cool, I got picked to do it. And I've been having training for that every day for like an hour, except for Friday. So I've been having it Monday through Thursday for one hour, but because it's Thanksgiving week, work is a little bit more accelerated with our deadlines. So they just messaged us and said like, why don't we like halt on the training for this week? So that's pretty cool. I'm kind of happy about that because I'm expecting like a phone call from the body shop about my car at some point so i'm just glad i can kind of like not have to worry about that with work i mean i have like the rest of my job to do but i don't have to worry about that extra piece of work right now i can just focus on my normal job cleaning up the house like i have to put all these clothes away make the bed i have to go feed the cats right now i'm gonna put up a light up garland that i bought around the front door later tonight i might go to lowe's <laughs> i have to wait for matt to get home so i can drive his car one thing i did last year that i definitely don't want to do coming into this year was i bought everything i bought for decorating outside i bought real so i bought real garland real wreaths and oh and like real like um like little christmas tree plants for by the front door and as cool as it was and as fun as it was to like go buy all that real stuff. Matt was like, why don't you just buy fake stuff so that you can just keep it and not have to buy it every year? And I was like, okay, you're right. And granted it is more expensive to buy fake stuff, but then you keep it and you use it year after year. So you save money in the long run, but you just also have to store it in your house. So like you have to have the room to store it. So this year I said, okay, I'm gonna buy a fake garland to put around the front door. So I got this. Um, fake garland from Lowe's it has built-in lights and it's like a little bit of like a frosted evergreen and it has little pine cones in there too so we're gonna go hang this up around the front door real quickly it does plug in so I'm going to have to get my outdoor timer so that it comes on and off at the right time every day but for now I'm just gonna like hang it up there plug it in and see how it looks and the other thing was I found out last year that I was allergic to the garland that I was hanging. I broke out in like a rash all up and down my forearms and my hands. It wasn't terrible and it went away pretty fast, but yeah, it was super itchy. So like, that's like another reason that I'm not doing real garland this year. It's funny because this was in my car when I got in my car accident. And then we had to take everything out of my car and put it in Matt's car. <laughs> I hadn't told him I bought this and he was like, what is that? And I was like, don't worry about it. You'll see it when I put it up. Okay, well, I don't know if this worked because this garland is not long enough. So anyway, I think it's fine. It's not like super ugly. 
but it does kind of look weird. <laughs> I feel like this looks so funny. It could be worse. did it too. I don't know why it took you so long. That must have been the edge of it. Yeah. time I just made dinner I made I made P.F. Chang's orange chicken with white rice and then Matt and I are gonna decorate the Christmas tree finally we're finally gonna put it up I've been talking about putting up this tree for like a week haven't put it up yet but we're gonna do it tonight and it's like raining and gross out it's cold so it's like the perfect night to do it This is connected to Matt's phone, and he's in the house. Okay, I'm driving for the first time since my accident, which like, I'm fine, I'm fine, I know I'm fine, but like, it's still that like, scariness of like, I haven't driven since I got ran into. I'm going to the post office before they close to drop off some Poshmark orders. I'm ending this vlog now i just like didn't close it out yesterday but i did just want to like kind of close it out right now and give that little update my dad is literally the best dad in the whole wide world i don't know what i ever did to deserve such a loving father that i have but he found a new car for me i'm literally gonna cry yeah he's getting that taken care of and he'll drive it down here whenever he can it's in connecticut so he um went and saw it bought it yesterday with my brother and I'm assuming they'll probably drive it to me next weekend. I don't know. I mean, I'm honestly not in a rush like I did this to myself. Well, not really. I'm just being gracious. Luckily, Matt has two cars. 
this other car's over there. I'm able to drive this car. It's all okay. I don't have to go anywhere for work. I work from home, so I'm lucky in that sense. But my new car is literally just my same car that I just had, but like a few years newer. So my dad was like, what do you want to do? And I was like, I just want the same car. Like I love my car so much. And it's so upsetting that like just a little bit of damage like that can total a car. Like it's so sad to me, um, but I get it. So I'm gonna go see her on Monday. I'll get the rest of myself out of the car then. But for now, tomorrow's Thanksgiving. I'm just gonna take my mind off of it for a little bit and just try to get back into life because I've just been home like dwelling in this whole nightmare for the past few days, but it's okay. Luckily I'm okay. Insurance is taking care of it, but yeah. So I'm gonna go to the post office. Mm. Say them cause they 